Spoilers alert to follow. In 1992, a young girl looks out of her window and sees her terminally ill brother's toy boat floating in the backyard pool. As she tries to grab the toy, an unknown force pulls her into the water. Struggling to emerge, the young girl sees a woman crouching at the edge of the pool, holding out her hand to her. She swims towards the woman's hand, but when she reaches the surface, the woman has disappeared. She tries again to grab the toy and when she finally succeeds, something pulls her under. The young woman tries to scream for help, but is submerged. After the struggle, she disappears. In the present day, the Waller family was forced to look for a new home after Ray, the father, fell ill and had to retire from his baseball career. They were looking for a permanent home. After checking out a house they didn't like, they decided to move on. While Eve was driving through the neighborhood, Ray asked her to stop the car when he saw a house for sale. They inspect it and Ray is happy to see that there is a swimming pool in the backyard, something he has always wanted. Ray and Eve examine the pool before Eve suggests they go back inside the house. Ray notices a baseball, bends down to pick it up and falls into the water. While underwater, he remembers his time playing baseball. His son, Elliot, is the first to find him and shouts for help. Eve and her daughter, Izzy, arrive and help Ray. Eve takes Ray to the hospital, and the doctor suggests that Ray find a low-impact activity, such as yoga or swimming, to do every day. On leaving the hospital, Ray tells Eve that he wants to buy the house with the pool, because not only does he like it, but he can do swimming therapy. Eve expresses her happiness at finally settling into a permanent home, unlike the time when Ray's baseball career was thriving and they had to move frequently. The Waller family decides to move into their new home as soon as possible. Eve gets a new job, and both Izzy and Elliot transfer to another school. This time, they don't have to worry about how little time they could spend at their new jobs and school. After returning home, the Waller family clean the pool together. Izzy tells her parents that she has been recruited for the swimming team. Ray expresses his pride in her as he puts his hand into the drain to clean it, but something in the drain cuts his hand and he screams as he pulls it out. Eve and her children get worried and approach Ray, when a black liquid starts leaking from the drain. They call maintenance to inspect the pool and discover that the pool is actually a spring pool, as it draws water from an underground spring in the area. The pool is essentially self-sustaining, with natural filtration and geothermal heating. Later that evening, Ray unpacks his things while Eve fills in a form. Eve decides to go for an evening swim and notices that her pet cat seems agitated, but she doesn't see anything that could trigger this and decides to ignore it, assuming that the cat is unfamiliar with the new place. Eve continues swimming until she sees a man standing by the pool. She's startled, but ends up thinking it's just Ray. However, when she looks clearly and finds no one there, she gets scared. The pool lights start to flicker, so Eve decides to get out of the pool and go back inside. She checks on her children and returns to the bedroom, where she finds Ray asleep. Sensing her presence, Ray wakes up, and Eve asks if he went out while she was in the pool. Ray replies that he didn't. Meanwhile, the family cat is lying on the diving platform when the same toy boat from the beginning of the movie emerges from the water, drawing the cat's attention. The pool lights start flashing again. The next day, the cat disappears, leaving only its collar floating in the pool. The Waller family sees it and thinks that the cat fell into the water and got scared. While the others are looking for the cat, Ray bends down and picks up the collar from the pool with his injured hand. He goes to check the bandage and is confused to realize that the wound is no longer there and his hand is completely healed. That night, Eve wakes up from a nightmare in which the pool is covered while she is underwater. She wakes up frightened and sees that Ray is swimming. The next day, Ray goes to therapy, and the doctor is amazed to see that he has improved drastically in such a short time. The couple think it may be due to the water therapy, which has made Ray happier when he realizes that the pool is helping to heal him. 
Since then, Ray has become much happier and is more dedicated to water therapy. One day, Elliot invites his father to swim with him. Ray draws a smiley face on a coin and asks Elliot to throw it into the pool, which he will then look for. Elliot is waiting for his father in the pool, sitting underwater, when he notices a coin being thrown. He resurfaces thinking that his father is already there, but he doesn't see anyone. Confused, Elliot puts on his goggles and looks for the coin under the water, but more coins are thrown, one of them over the drain. Elliot hears a voice calling and looks up to see a girl looking down at him. He resurfaces to talk to the girl, but she has disappeared. Elliot starts to get scared, but tells himself that it's just Izzy trying to scare him. He continues swimming and stops under the diving platform, where he hears a thud. An angle seen from underwater shows someone standing on top of the platform, but when Elliot climbs up, there is no one there. He hears the voice of a girl coming from the skimmer, who introduces herself as Rebecca. As Elliot grabs his toy from inside the skimmer plate, a hand grabs his arm and starts pulling. Elliot screams with fear when he sees a silhouette inside the skimmer plate. He tells his mother, Eve, who checks, but sees nothing suspicious. When she tells Ray about it, he suggests that Elliot may just be pretending because he has difficulty making friends. The Waller family goes to school with Elliot to show support for his baseball training. Ray is there to help guide the students and when the team coach asks him to hit the ball just once, Ray agrees, but his illness is getting in the way and he falls to the ground, he tries once more and hits the ball successfully, making it fly so far with a surprising amount of force that everyone is amazed. Evening comes and Ray and Eve leave their children home alone for a while. Izzy warns Elliot not to rat her out and invites a schoolmate and swimming teammate called Ronan for a swim. Ronan challenges Izzy to look for him in the pool with her eyes closed. Izzy accepts the challenge, but something pulls her under and when she opens her eyes she realizes that she is strangely so deep in the water that she can barely see the surface of the pool. She immediately gets out of the water, is totally confused and asks if Ronan pulled her in. Ronan tells her that he didn't pull her in and Izzy gets very scared. Ronan comforts her, assuring her that her leg must have got stuck or something. Elliot knocks on Izzy's door and asks if she saw anything in the pool, but Izzy denies it, as she doesn't want anything to happen that might force them to move again. Elliot shares his idea that the pool could be helping and haunting them at the same time. They hold a pool party and Elliot sets up a video camera to capture everything that's going on. After what happened to him and the sudden improvement in his father's health, he becomes suspicious and is now starting to worry. Eve asks the realtor about the pool and she reluctantly tells her a recent story about the backyard pool, where the people who lived in the house before never felt comfortable using it because a little girl drowned in it years ago. Eve asks if the girl's name was Rebecca and when the realtor confirms it, Eve realizes that Elliot was telling the truth. Meanwhile, Ray, with a young man on his shoulder, is playing in the pool when a black liquid comes out of the drain and enters his mouth, possessing Ray, who tries to drown the young man on his shoulder. Elliot sees it and immediately calls his mother. Fortunately, despite being upset, the children's parents don't press charges, but want to distance themselves from the family. After this event, Eve wants to leave the house, but Ray objects. Suddenly Ray starts to run out of air and cough and his neck starts to turn black, so they decide to let him rest for a while. The whole family is now tired because of the events. Eve does her own research into the swimming pool and discovers that there is a long history of disappearances in the house. She tracks down Rebecca's mother, a woman called Lucy, and asks what really happened to the young woman before she supposedly drowned in the pool. At first Lucy denies having a daughter, but Eve knows about Rebecca, and unable to deny it, Lucy ends up telling the story of how the pool was a source of healing, but required a sacrifice to maintain its power. Lucy sacrificed her own daughter to save her sick son. Suddenly, Lucy starts coughing violently, while Eve sees a black liquid coming out of her and also from the fountain. Frightened, Eve leaves. Meanwhile, Ray is taking a bath and begins to choke, 
his veins turn black and his face changes. Elliot hears a cat meowing and goes to the pool, which is mysteriously full of water again. He checks the inflated float and comes across a frightening creature, Elliot falls into the pool and the cover begins to close. Izzy tries to stop it from closing, but can't. With Eve's help, they manage to stop the pool from closing. Izzy goes to get help, while Eve looks for Elliot underwater. She finds him and realizes that they are being pulled back by the people's sacrifice to the fountain. Eve fights them off and frees herself, but remains lost in the darkness. Rebecca's ghost appears with Elliot's smiling coin and drop the coin. Making Eve realize that she was swimming towards the bottom instead of the surface. Izzy, on the other hand, hurts herself when she slips on the shards of glass. She then hears a strange sound and searches for her father only to find him possessed. Ray chases her and wants to sacrifice her to the source, but Izzy fights back and hides, when he notices Eve and Elliot. He comes out and attacks Eve without realizing that Izzy is behind him with a bat. She hits him, causing him to fall to the ground, and with Eve's comforting whispers, Ray finally comes to his senses. Elliot also wakes up but he's in a very bad way. Ray notices the black liquid spreading in the pool and knows that someone has to pay, so he decides to sacrifice himself for his son. Ray decides to swim towards the black liquid, sacrificing himself. Despite the tragedy that has befallen Ray, Eve and her children decide to stay in the house so that no one else can fall victim to the pool. Eve also decides to land the pool to prevent further suffering. Thank you.